Do you get confused going out to dinner? Do you tip the server 15% or 20? What's good, what's too much, and can you do math in your head at the table? Well, one Glendale restaurant is taking the guesswork out of dining out. Cake Outline's Rachel Kim is live in Glendale with a tip about a no-tipping eatery. Rachel. Well, Sylvia, the no tipping policy is common in Europe, but not so much here in the United States. Well, the owner here at Brand 158 says it's paying off for him, his employees, and his customers. Have you dined with us before? Actually, no, I haven't. First time customers at Brand 158 restaurant are finding out that after their meals and drinks, there's no need to do the usual calculations. It's on the menu and on the receipt. No tips are accepted here. Service hasn't suffered. Employees are happy. The prices speak for themselves. Owner Gabriel Frem tells us the employees are paid higher wages because of the no tipping policy. The employees, once they know what they're making and they can stabilize their lives, they can focus on our customers' experience. Frem says in the three and a half months they've been in business, they've been profitable without sacrificing the quality of their food, raising prices, or tacking on a service charge. It's paying a few people a living wage and running your infrastructure and your logistics in a way that is effective. We have uh, people who during downtime can do tasks that would otherwise require the services of a third party. Bartender Christy Kyriakos believes in the no tipping policy because she can count on a stable paycheck and less stress on the job. I know that I can just be myself and be at ease with a customer and I'm not trying to make some money off of them, you know, it's, it's good. Most of us are going to inherently feel that we're a little cheap if we don't leave something on the side. Cash payments are also discouraged for sanitary reasons. But if you have to pay with cash, a manager uses these bins to transport the money so no one serving actually touches it. It's not about germs and being germophobic as much as it's about respecting the client. Frem tells us he has about 40 employees. Most of them are full time. They do have health insurance and benefits. Reporting live tonight in Glendale, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News. That's a